You know, we're faced with uh, more work than we've ever had at the IBW and NECA. I'm getting asked to meet with Fortune 50 companies. They're building AI data centers, they're building out hospitals, they're building out, building out, building out, and the, here's their question. Can you supply the labor? Can you do the work? I think the first time in history we have one of the greatest opportunities because they are coming to us for solutions. We're tracking about 1,050 transmission projects. We're looking at 16,000 utility-sized solar projects, 82 chip plants right now in the United States. I've seen estimates up to 900 small modular reactors. For the first time, we've reactivated two nuclear plants that were deactivated. And I think we're seeing more and more of that as we walk into the new future of the electrical industry. What I've seen now is a dynamic. We've gone from essential to critical because with the amount of growth here in America, you know, whether it's manufacturing, whether it's ship plants, whether it's data centers, hospitals, whatever it is, customers need a reliable workforce, a, a reliable contracting force, and it's gonna be very critical that we continue to bring more people into our industry faster than ever. That's why we're ramping up education for leadership training, foreman training, management training, estimating, and at the same time, our workers, our men and women in the field are gonna to have to work a different workforce than we've ever had before. We've been so accustomed to doing it one way and you and I both know we can't do it that way. We have to do things completely different. Bureau of Labor Statistics just recently put something out. There's gonna be a need for up to 70,000 new electrical workers in our industry each year to the year of 2032. 6% increase, higher than any other classification that the Bureau of Labor Statistics track. I set a million membership goal. I've had utility partners, I've had my NECA chapter managers all across the United States, the NECA CEO, all say to me, we're gonna help you get to that million person. Today, this morning, I looked at the membership of current members and retirees that we track. We're at 850,536, the most we've had since 1970s. For the first time, we're seeing growth with all the new organizing policies, with your contractors buying in, understanding that we have to reach out, that we have to look at all disciplines to bring people into our industry and grab the people that's in our industry now, currently working, and make them IBW members and employees of the contractors.